Hello everybody, this is Nathan Grayson with Kotaku, and today I am, as you may have noticed, in my pajamas. The reason for this is that I am currently in the process of living out a lifelong dream. I am in Ikea, a portion of Ikea, in my pajamas. Um, and I'm not just talking like, I, I'm sure there are plenty of people who go to Ikea wearing like sweatpants and stuff. No, that's, that's low level garbage. That's not how you do it. How you do it is you roll out of your own bed in your pajamas and then just, you're there. Um, that is what this is. This is the Ikea VR experience. Um, it's a really small thing. It's really more of a curiosity than an actual experience, somewhat comically given that that is in the title. Um, but it is, you know, Ikea in the comfort of your own living room for whatever reason. So you can warp around and check out this Ikea kitchen, which is <clears throat> lamentably not all that interactable. I mean, you can, you know, walk around a little bit and put your hand through the counter as you can in any real Ikea, but other than that, there's not a whole lot to do. Um, it is fun though, because it's, you know, a fairly detailed environment, so you can like get down in here and see what cookbooks are on the shelf and all this other stuff. There are a few things that you can interact with, like if I warp over here, then let's see, can I do the whole... Okay, I guess the game wants me to do all the menu stuff first. So yeah, you have a little menu, and it gives you a few options. Um, you can, for instance, change the color of the objects in the room. See? Now it's all a darker color. I can go completely white. Ah, it's like some sort of, I don't know, creepy future kitchen. I'm not into it. Or you can have kind of a natural look, you know, one that makes you feel like you're living out in some sort of idyllic rural area, even though you're actually trapped in a tiny apartment in a suffocating and terrifying city. Um, but my favorite, and this, this is the fun one. This is the one that will also maybe disorient you if you're not the most experienced vr -er, vr -er. That feels horrible rolling off your tongue. Never say it. Um, but yeah, this one, this is, this is a good one. You can change your height. So, like, you can get the experience of being a different height person in this kitchen environment from our good friends at Ikea. So, first, I'm going to be a large man. Far larger than I actually am. I am not a large person. Wah! I'm powerful. Everything is smaller than me. I have to bend over to reach the sink. So, yeah, I'm, I'm tall now. This is exciting. This is an experience that I'll never get to have outside of VR unless I go and buy some stilts. Or, and this is the really crazy one, and this is actually one that gives me ideas for games that could exist in VR. But now, I'm short. I'm so small. I'm three foot three. This is what it's like to be a child. I had forgotten because I haven't been one of those in quite some time. But I mean, it is kind of neat to, oh my god, my, I, I have not looked at the controllers. I apologize for having like a revelatory experience in front of you, but look at this. This is hilarious. My hands are enormous. Um, but no, this is like, I could totally imagine someone making a game where you are like either a small child or like you've been shrunken down by, you know, a mad scientist or just an alien or something. And then you've got to like interact with stuff that's usually normal size, but then it's huge. And like, again, because VR does sense of scale so well, that would actually be an experience that I'm interested in. As is, however, all I can do is wander around Ikea, but smaller. Can look in the oven. Pretty detailed oven. Huh? The only thing that really gets me about the Ikea VR experience, or that I guess I should say like really disappoints me, is that I thought that it was going to be like a complete, you know, wander around the entirety of an Ikea simulator. And so I could like go to the food court and all that really goofy stuff. But no, it's just kind of a brief little like proof of concept idea of like, hey, you know, if a if an outlet wanted to give you the ability to wander their store in virtual reality, they could do that. Um, otherwise, you know, it is what it is. Um, 
see. There's like one other thing I was going to go over to and try to interact with because it worked the last time that I tried this out. I'm going to go ahead and grow back to my normal height. Do this one? Why is this game being so... Oh, right, because I've got to go into hand mode. Okay, so now I can use my hands to like... Yeah, so I can look in a drawer and we've got all these objects that I can't do anything with. It just makes me teleport. I don't think I can do anything. Maybe I can do something with this hand. No, still teleport. Oh well. I can go over here, recycle or cook this. I can cook this. All right. Um, let me get out of my way. I'm not really sure how to cook this. Um, maybe I'm supposed to use a different cooking apparatus. So I can recycle it in here. So yeah, just pull that open. Here's the recycling. That's not exciting. Cooking is exciting. I'd like to cook for you today. I've always wanted to cook for you, my dear video gaming audience. I've just never had the tools nor the ability. Uh, I mean, I guess maybe it's like cooking right now. What's in the other drawers? Pots and other such objects that, again, I can't interact with. It'd be very useful for the purposes of cooking. Oh, cook. Okay, so I can interact with one of them. I mean, uh, it doesn't really seem to be an option to turn this on, at least not when it's immediately popping up. Is that there? Uh, well, kind of stumped at this point. Maybe I just like s drive it through into the oven, or just drop it on the ground. IKEA, fantastic. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of the totality of this experience. As you might have noticed, there's not even really any sound or anything. It's just kind of again a quick proof of concept of the idea that you can explore a kitchen that's modeled after an actual IKEA kitchen that you can like purchase the components of. But yeah, you can explore it in virtual reality. IKEA, the VR experience. Kind of silly that it exists, so I decided to show it to you. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.